I was in recovery when they came in and they, they brought a sheet of paper and they said, this is what your son has. And it's called congenital diaphragmatic hernia. At the time, I didn't even remember the name. We went back at 18 weeks and it was confirmed again that our, our little one had CDH. He has um, had his stomach and part of his intestines up above his diaphragm and pushing everything over to the right. Doctor down there told us that he had a congenital diaphragmatic hernia. And it occurs in one in 2,500 babies. Not being prepared for this and not knowing it, it was this Oh, oh my God, you know, what, what is this? CDH is a disorder uh, where the muscle that separates the abdominal contents or the intestines from the chest cavity, it either doesn't form or it forms incompletely. So the abdominal contents herniate into the chest and cause the lung not to develop well. And then when the lung doesn't develop well, the blood vessels to that lung don't develop well either. It can be diagnosed primarily by ultrasound as early as the late first trimester, but more often is diagnosed uh, in the second trimester. The babies initially are sick, they're on a ventilator, they're getting lots of medications to help um, relax the, the high blood pressure in the lungs. And then as that blood pressure in the lungs falls, then the babies are eligible to have the operation to, to fix the CDH. The surgery for diaphragmatic hernia is probably the smallest part of their management, and that's coming from a surgeon. We're talking about three hours out of what may be a six week, eight week hospitalization. I found out that Cincinnati Children had a dedicated team for CDH, um, and that was a big deal for us. And you think, okay, we're gonna see a surgeon because they'll have surgery, we've got a nurse because he'll need nursing care, but just the array of people that are involved in his care was just, it was amazing. It's the same team of doctors from the time a diagnosis is made in utero, in the nursery, and then long-term follow-up. The concept behind the Perinatal Institute is based on the principle that outstanding care for our patients requires input from many different disciplines. We have surgeons and neonatologists working together, and it's a dedicated team of physicians, nurses, respiratory therapists, nutritionists that really are very specialized in taking care of babies with this disorder. If you only see a few babies a year with this, you don't develop expertise in that area. We see here at Cincinnati Children somewhere between 25 and 30 babies a year, and we have the same group of physicians working very intensively with these babies. So we've been able to refine our protocols and improve our survival. When we first found out, they gave him a 50% chance of living. Um, when we came here, they upped it to 85%. The outcomes in diaphragmatic hernia hadn't changed in decades. Babies were dying at a very high rate severe morbidities, and literally within the last five years or so, we've made significant strides on every front with diaphragmatic hernia. If you look at the outcomes with diaphragmatic hernia in general, you will see survival rates in the 50 to 60 percent range. The institution of the CDH team and the fetal care center here at Cincinnati, we have pushed that survival up to 90 percent. The biggest issue is what can we do to treat the underlying underdevelopment of the lungs and the pulmonary hypertension. So I think those are the big areas of, of research. Well, research is essential to moving the field forward. And we have things that are both clinical research as well as basic science research. CDH can have implications lifelong. Um, but the typical follow-up is, is somewhere between three and five years. We'll be coming back here twice a year for follow-up appointment checkups here. High-risk clinic follows him um, because of the CDH. Cardiology follows him. Um, surgery follows him. It's a huge research center. It's a place of excellent clinical care. And I think those two really make this place unique. There is no place in the United States I know that's more collaborative uh, and more committed to every aspect of outstanding care. I'm so glad that we decided to come here and, you know, be able to be part of the fetal care center and, you know, have our son in the RICNIC and get the care that he needed. The nurses and the doctors and Everyone have you know kind of become friends, and they've they've watched him grow, and they're always surprised to see how big he's gotten and the curls in his hair. I felt from the moment I met the team that my son was in the best hands he could be in. People are like, well, why didn't you go to a hospital closer to home? 
well, it's, it's, there's no choice. You find the best thing for your child and you take your child there and have them cared for. He's a miracle baby. I mean, they've, they've worked their wonders on him.